Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. When it was introduced for the 1986 model year, we said that the Mazda 323 felt like a little 626. Quite a compliment for any car its size. Sadly for Mazda, the 323 was quickly eclipsed by Honda's excellent Civic and Mitsubishi's Mirage, competitors that upped the ante in interior room and performance. But in the car business, no model stays on top forever. Mazda is again on the offensive, seeing how far it can push the capabilities and capacity of the small four-door sedan. Mazda's Challenger is all new and appropriately has a new name, Protégé. According to Webster's, a protege is one whose welfare, training, or career is promoted by an influential person. That name may apply to, say, Dan Quayle, but we're not sure if it works for this new Mazda, which seems capable of getting by on its merits alone. The protege, 323 protege to be absolutely correct, has the same overall width and wheelbase as a Honda Civic, but it has more interior room. EPA Interior Volume Index measures 92 cubic feet. That's also more than you get in competing models from Toyota or Mitsubishi. And that number translates into plenty of usable room. And a protege without a sunroof, headroom is good for six footers. Along with that room comes a lot of standard features. The LX grade car has a tilt steering column, power adjustable outside mirrors, and power windows. The seats are comfortable and supportive in most directions but the short bottom seat cushions leave your lower thighs suspended. Gauges are analog and clear. Below them, a few of the protege's dash switches are hidden by the steering wheel. Other than that, controls are just where they ought to be. Air direction and heating are easy to figure out at a glance, and the simple slide controls work easily. The AM-FM cassette stereo just below is a $450 option. We applaud its simple operation, something that seems to elude so many factory stereos these days. Power steering is standard on the LX and optional on the SE. We applaud its feel and accuracy. The shifter, despite longish throws, has a pleasantly crisp feel. The clutch, on the other hand, releases high and takes some getting used to. A four-speed overdrive automatic is optional. Getting in the back door takes limber legs, as with any car this size. Once there, you'll find slightly more legroom than in the Civic, and six-footers will just barely get a scalp massage from the headliner. Interior amenities include a 60-40 fold-down rear seat. Standard on the SE and LX versions of the Protégé, its advantages are obvious and welcome in a car of this size. The Protégé with a 5-speed manual transmission is EPA rated at 25 city, 30 highway. We experienced a commendable 32 in typical driving. Not so commendable is the Protégé's interior sound level, tire noise to be specific, but our ears were more offended than our sound meter, which measured 69 decibels. The standard engine on the LX is a double overhead cam 16 valve 4, measuring 1.8 liters. It develops 125 horsepower. The SE version of the Protégé gets a single overhead cam 16 valve that produces 103 horsepower. We highly recommend the twin camera LX for those of you who really enjoy driving. This engine loves to rev, but doesn't need to. It makes power readily when chasing numbers up the tack. Track testing proves how zippy this engine can be. Our test car went from 0 to 60 in just 7.8 seconds. Quarter mile times were also good. The Protégé LX squirted down the track in 15.9 seconds, ending the trip at 87 miles per hour. These numbers make the Protégé one quick little car, and it has handling to match its spirited acceleration. Both versions of the Protégé come with front and rear anti-sway bars which help to keep body lean to a minimum. In addition, the LX gets 14-inch wheels and tires to broaden the protege stance, functionally and visually. The larger tires hide four-wheel disc brakes. With them, our protege LX needed 128 feet of asphalt in which to stop from 60. The brake pedal in our test car was firm and easy to modulate, but our car still had some unwanted rear lock and a slight pull to the left. Price for the protege LX is $10,549. The less potent but still well-equipped SE will cost you about $1,000 less. For an LX like our test car with air conditioning, stereo, and cruise control, figure on spending $12,061.
In our safety check, the protege fails to have a driver airbag or a front passenger airbag. It does have rear shoulder belts, but no anti-lock brakes. But in its class, the protege has more than we thought it could for the money. Value and high level of equipment top our list of hits. We're also smitten with the smooth, willing engine and impressed with track performance and interior room. One thing that bugs us about the protege is tire noise. We're also less than happy with the car's late clutch release, though that problem may have been peculiar to our test car. Less troublesome are the short front seat cushions and those hidden dash switches. For comparison, the Eagle Summit ES has an identical price and list of standard equipment, but it has less room and power. Honda's Civic EX is also within dollars of the Mazda. The Civic has similar equipment, but lacks the protege's interior room and 40-60 split rear seat. Historically, the Civic has a better reputation for quality and durability. But judging by the factors we can see now, Mazda's new small car is no protege. It is as well developed as its toughest competitors, and then some. While GLCs and 323s of the past may have needed a mentor to groom them and help them along the way, this new Mazda four-door comes with everything it needs to successfully challenge the leaders in the small car race.